What's going on everyone? Today I just received my Lord Raven animatronic from Spirit Halloween. I've been wanting to get this guy since his leaked images came out. So I'm not going to wait any longer. Let's open the box. Oh, wow. His head is huge. Got a very long beak. And the adapter box. Here's his torso piece. This is strong metal. We got the poles, which are zip tied together, which is nice. His arms, let's see if I can get them out. It's got that foam to give it shape, and it's got cloth already on it. The instructions, we probably won't be needing these, so his other arm, his clothing, which is going to be so hard to set up. These look really small. His other hand right here. Let's take the base out. Then here, this thing is heavy. I can barely even hold it up, but here is the mechanism. This thing is crazy looking. All right, here are all his pieces, the base, the poles, arms, hands, mech, head, clothing, torso piece, whatever. Let's get to the setup. All right, so we just gotta take all four of our poles and snap lock them into the base. So. Kind of tricky to get the pins in. All right, next side, you just push the pole on and the pin box in. For the next step, we're going to be taking the torso, push it on the poles. Simple. All right, next you're gonna wanna take the crazy freaking mechanism right here. All right, next, you're gonna have to put the arms on just like that, you just slide them in. All right, next we're gonna wanna put the head on. There we go. All right, next is the clothing. I'm probably gonna have to do this off camera because I've heard so many people say this is a nightmare to get situated with. Okay, so here's his hood and then his robe. So I'm gonna go put that on off camera. All right, I think I'm pretty much done with the clothing other than his hood. All right, so you're gonna wanna put the hands on. Um, do these have stickers? Yeah, I'll peel them off. All right, so now that we peeled off the sticker, we're gonna wanna find the connector right there. So there's this elastic band too. You can use that to kind of like cover it up a bit. And once you are done with that, there's a Velcro strip somewhere on here. You're gonna wanna attach that to the Velcro strip on the hand. All right, pretty much the last thing you need to do before turning on your Lord Raven is to just connect all the wires. This is the IR sensor wire. So, let's go. there's a Velcro here. You're gonna wanna put it through here. All right, pretty much the last thing you need to do is just connect all the color-coded wires. So red wire to red wire, yellow wire to yellow, and blue to blue. So I am about to plug him in and turn him on for the first time. All right, here is Lord Raven completely set up. One thing I will say before I turn him on for the first time, his clothing is kind of confusing and it's really hard to get it to look nice. Overall, I think he's a really great animatronic. So I'm gonna plug him in and let's see what he does. He works! I knew you would be here soon. You could say I have eyes all over. <laughs> Remember? Alright, so that was Lord Raven. I absolutely love this guy. I'm very impressed with how big he actually is, because in the stores he looks so small. His metal is also really good quality too. 
which I was not really expecting. I thought it would be kind of more like Henry Hustle, but overall, I really love this animatronic. And if you were thinking about getting him, I'd do it. Like, he's such a great prop. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel if you want to see more Halloween videos or just anything in general. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.